hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is grace i want to have a very candid conversation with you guys and um kind of share my journey which is not so long but i hope and believe that it's going to help someone it's going to encourage whoever has taken a similar path or it's going to shed some light for whoever who's thinking of doing something similar or just help you a little bit with any difficulties you might be experiencing i think um so yeah but before we get into that how about i give you a minute for you to hit that subscribe button and um, so that you're going to be able to catch this and other similar conversations because it's gonna be worth it i promise so you do that i'm giving you a minute to so i'll wait I wait. Mm. Okay, I think that's all you need. I hope you did that. So I want to have a conversation with you guys. Rather, okay, this is a conversation. It can't, I think, okay, I want to talk about something. So, um, I don't even know where to start, but I'll just, it's the first time I'm doing such a, such as video but i hope it's going to be helpful and all that so i want to talk about quitting your job quitting your job to go into something you believe or think is, is is what you're supposed to be doing and that kind of thing deciding whatever career path you take i'm not an expert but i have a little bit of experience because most recently i quit my job for the unknown yeah so a lot of times I have seen these motivational videos and, and then we, it can be hyped. It can be really hyped, but when you get into the real thing, it's not as easy as it sounds. Oh, I am not into this job. I really don't like what I'm doing. I feel like I should be in this particular field or rather I want to pursue my, my side hustle as a full-time job. And then someone tells you, just do it, just follow your heart. It's not that simple. So I'm here to give you the real deal, to be honest. This, of course, is according to my experience. I'm not saying this is what is going to happen always, or this is what should happen. Because again, I said I'm not an expert, but I feel I have a few things I can share with you guys. So I'll get right into it. So I'm going to do this in steps. Like I'll give you things I need you should think about, I think, sorry, you should think about before you make such a decision. So the first thing I'll say is know what it is that you want to do. You don't just wake up and decide to quit your job because you're not feeling it. Because life is not that easy. If that is how life was, then everyone would be doing what it is that they love. And I am telling you, I believe 80% of people in the working environment just do it because they need the money to pay their bills so it's not as easy as it sounds so you don't just wake up and decide to quit your job you have to know what it is that you want how do you even get there i have had people say that the things that you love the things that really excite you are not just things that are just um things that you like they're just those are the things that are aligned with your purpose and the best time or the best life you can ever have or the most fulfilled life you ever live is one that is in accordance to your purpose. So you have to find out what it is that you love to do. If you love to draw, then go for it. Find someone to pay you to draw. If you love to dress up, find someone to pay you to dress up. If you love to cook, find people to buy food from you or rather find someone to pay you to cook it's more or uh, more the same so what am i saying i'm saying you must first of all before you make the decision before you hand in your resignation you need to understand what it is that comes naturally to you what is it that you really actually would love to do what is it that you could do even without pay so just know what it is then find someone to pay you to do it okay so the second thing I think is planning. 
yes you've already figured out oh i love to sing so i'm gonna find someone to pay me to sing there are these few months where you're going to struggle that's the truth you won't just get out of it and then poop you're getting gigs of singing and then you're getting paid no that's not how it's going to work you're probably going to have a few rough months and then you have to remember that life doesn't stop just because you quit your landlord doesn't remember or doesn't even care about uh how much you're suffering or how you don't have a salary so certain bills are constant they need to be paid so you need to plan on how you're going to take care of those bills once you've handed in your resignation and you don't plan where you already handed it in you start planning prior like months before you hand in your resignation have some savings with you have money that is going to hold you down in those few months which you are kind of uncertain because that's the truth the truth is you don't just hope from one job and get your gig like being whole hot fire flames and, and just popping it doesn't work like that you have a couple of months that are going to be a struggle that are going to be very demoralizing and and all those things so you need to factor in that financial aspect of it so how do you do that you save that's the only way out I can't think of any other better way. I think saving while you still have a salary for those moments that you will not really have one is the best way to approach this thing. Okay? All right. How cute is this mug? Okay, sorry. So, um after you have known what you want to do and thought of someone or rather who is your target market this could be it doesn't i don't necessarily mean you can cook now you again you're going to be employed by a bakery or whatever I just mean who is going to buy your services or whatever however you compensate your work however you decide it because i'm thinking even if you're employed and you're doing something you love it still works right yeah so the next step I'll not I would like to add on something else on, on on the part of planning because this is not just I'm not talking to people that are planning to quit their jobs I also want to talk to people who are yet to get into the job market students um uh you know just people who just graduated and they don't really have jobs yet I need to talk to you there's this thing about planning it's it's really important it's really important to understand what it is that you really want because as a young person you don't want to be that person who doesn't really have a direction because that is what failure to plan does to you it just keeps you in a position where anything goes like um hey guys there's this plot from nigani this and this is going down let's just go because again you don't have a plan you don't really have something you're looking to fulfill or to accomplish anything for you goes and as a young person that is the last thing you want happening to you because you will have no direction you will achieve nothing and you'll be in a state of just whatever works just bring it on and you will end up The other th after you have planned, now do it and in your resignation and in your letter of resignation to your employer and just take a leap of faith and do it. Yeah, it is. It is scary. I'll tell you, I have done it. And uh, in that moment, you're feeling, oh, I have control. I'm going to have done it. It's not as easy. It's hard. But it's, it requires a lot of courage, a, bo a lot of boldness. But After you've done it, now comes the hardest part. Put in the work. Be patient. The thing with millennials I've heard people say is that you're feeling very entitled. Like, we want instant gratification. We don't want to put in the work. We want to, oh, this is what I want. What is it that you want? I want this clothing line. I want to be like Zara. I want to be like whoever and and then and, and, and how are you going to do it i'm going to be doing you have a plan you have you have the the, the physical plan you even have a paper or a, a whole 
proposal that you can give to a financier but then sitting down and putting in the work and having the patience to let things unfold is what you're lacking we are very and a very entitled generation we thrive in instant gratification we have little or no patience but then that is not how the real world works the problem is i i was listening to someone the other day and then they were saying that with millennials we've just not learned to take pain we've not learned um to be patient with anything we've been brought up in such a way that oh whenever we wanted something we asked for it and when it was delayed we were mad and then because our parents uh also these millennial parents they want to make us happy they give they give it to us so oh anytime you got into trouble you had someone get you out of it you never really struggled to like deal with issues yourself you get in trouble you call your mother she comes she saves you and again you're good so you we're not really a generation that has been brought up knowing how to deal with problems and therefore this ends up putting us in a position of where we cannot wait we just can't take a little bit of pain so if you're to take this path you've got to get out of that millennial mentality you've got to be ready to be patient and take a little bit of pain so be patient and and put in the work that's the other part put in the work takes do if you've got to do the sleepless nights the early mornings the counseling on friends because you cannot afford to be doing dunda when 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 you've got work to do uh you cannot afford to be on instagram the entire time because you've got work to do so it's a lot of sacrifice it's a lot of patience and it's a lot of work so if that's not for you if that's not, you're not about that life just remain with your job don't quit and in in school and you're not about that life then work really hard start really hard get a job at the best employers in town and just be employed and this is not your life so the other thing i would like to say or rather highlight is taking control of your life when all this in the, in the midst of all these things happening you're trying to make ends meet you're trying to put your resources together and, and come up with something a product whatever it is that you're willing to sell it can be very derailing and if you, if you don't really have your mind and in, 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 in everything of you together you could lose it that's when you end up losing focus and you could find yourself excuse me getting done with the whole thing and quitting and going back to where you started or even a worse place because at this point you're just frustrated you can just don't you can't do this anymore so you're going back to the job market but then you're like your, your mentality is anything goes whatever i get as long as i get to pay my bills i don't really care what i have to do so you end up being in a worse situation because most 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 probably your initial position was you went looking for a job that you had maybe studied about about and then you got a job but then it wasn't working and then you have this other side thing that you really love then you quit but then now you're going back to do something that you don't really care about you have little or no no interest at all you just need to get your bills paid so you need to be very sane at this stage you need to realize and and actually deliberately live very intentionally and understand this is a choice i made i have to live with it not really in a in a in a i am doomed kind of way but i have to push through because it just requires me to put in a little bit of work and and, and just be a little bit patient because at the end of the day you will there is no way i believe you are working on the things that are most passionate for you and end up failing as long as you're doing everything as long as you're putting in the work it's what you love i am so sure 99% of the time you're going to succeed so the chances of you failing are rare you will only fail if you give up so you need to really put in the work be very patient and and, and kind of put yourself together you, of course are those thoughts of ah, this is not going to work i'm tired everyone else is making it i can't make it you're going to get there you just need to be a little bit patient and of course um the universe or whatever it is that you believe in is the way i believe the way things are set up god doesn't really tell you no especially if you're doing the right thing and you're just being true to the person you are that is by following what that which sets your soul on fire i don't think he really tells you no what he will do is 
maybe tell you to wait which is humanly possible you can wait as a human being so if you get your things together your mind together be sane about everything like just try to remain sane amidst all the the, the struggles so your last point you. is thrive in your success because once you've done all that once you've worked hard once you've been patient you've 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 you've, you've put your all into it success is inevitable so you're going to succeed most definitely and um as i wind up i want to tell you a story um when i was in high school i got to a point i wanted to do law but then i figured oh no law for a chick oh gosh i had this backward mentality oh for a chick before by the time i have a case and i'm making it big it's gonna take a lot of time so what did i do i went to the next course that sounded good to my ears. I promise you, I didn't really think about... The, okay, the only thing, the only maybe logic thing I did with selecting the kind of course I was going to do was I'm good in business studies. That's the only thing. Every other thing was, it sounds so cool. When I say it, people would respect me. Yeah, it sounds big. I would be a career woman. So what did I do? I selected it economics and statistics it sounds so good right like when you tell it to people you say what are you, what are you studying economics and statistics darling they're like what sorry economics and statistics so i was so misinformed i was so gosh when i think about it, it was so so i ended up doing something that really so I'm not really about that life, to be honest. So I ended up, I've done a lot of things. I've been a cashier. I have been, I have worked in a convenience store. Like, you know, as a, as a customer attendant, I have worked in the Ministry of Health, what health? Ministry of Public Works. What was I doing? There was a storekeeper for their sports club. I have done, what else have I done? I have done a lot of things and then of course my my fashion related things which are really what I love and among other things um but all this okay that was allowed because I was I was still in uni I had I I yeah I was still trying to figure out life but then after uni after I graduated I got this job where I was um an assistant accountant to some total to total whatever and um it just wasn't working. I am not that person. I'm not a girl to sit and do debits and credits. And gosh, it wasn't working. And what we are missing is we are not prepared in advance. And then we are not in touch with ourselves. We don't really understand the people we are. We don't understand what makes us tick. We don't understand what really comes to us naturally. And I think if we did that, a lot of time would be saved. A lot of people would find their path a little bit earlier than they do normally. So try to understand. If you're feeling uncomfortable with wherever you are, try to get real with yourself. Know what it is that comes to you naturally. What is it, what is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you really love to do? Then once you've known what it is, get someone to pay you to do it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I think I'll be doing similar videos because again, this, this comes more natural to me uh, than any other thing like, um, oh, I am using mascara from Maybelline or I believe that has Kinawabosha, Kinanansi, why they are good. They are good like they are so good so again it's 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 one last thing it's about don't seek to blend in what it is that sets you apart in fact that is what is going to sell for you if you're seeking to blend in then you're just another girl doing another you know so anyone that has really done or is thriving in whatever field they're in I believe they've embraced that aspect of them that is different from the rest. So get real with yourself. Understand who you are. Don't just go with the vibe. 
uh, this is what is selling, this is what is hype, this is what people are viewing. You are you're going to invest a lot in it and then you end up being frustrated because this is not what you love. You're just doing it because that is what everyone else is doing. So find what it is that is true to you and go with it. Don't worry about blending in. Standing out is much better, right? Until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. Thank you.